Hey guys, I wanted to make a video today about homeschooling. Um, we're about 11 years into our homeschool journey. And when I first started out, there were some things about homeschooling that made me pretty nervous. Our annual homeschool evaluation portfolio, that sounded very official to me and I was intimidated by putting that together. So I just hope that by showing you guys what we have found works for us, uh, it might help you a little. Now, an annual homeschool evaluation portfolio is meant to show progress for your child in learning. Uh, it is not meant to capture every piece of work they've done. It is not meant to show every single project you did the entire year. Basically what your evaluator is looking for is progress and growth. So your portfolio should contain lots of work that your child is proud of and wants to show off. As far as supplies that we use to make our portfolio, uh, first we just pick out a binder for each child. You'll want at least an inch and a half binder. Any smaller, you're probably going to be squeezing stuff into it. Uh, this is the binder my younger daughter chose, she's 11, and my older daughter, she's 14, she went with the plain black, which is much more her taste, and to the front of it she is going to attach this Lord of the Rings decal. She's a big Lord of the Rings fan. It's super important to me just to let my kids pick out these supplies just to reflect their interests and their taste and um, it's kind of fun to watch as the years go by how that changes. So beyond the binders, I choose a big pack of dividers. This is going to divide your subjects up. You'll need at least as many as you do subjects for. <laughs> so if you have six subjects, you're going to need at least six dividers for each binder. We do a pack of scrapbook paper, and this is going to be fun for putting pictures into the portfolio for memories. I keep a big box of sheet protectors. That's going to keep all our work nice and uh, organized. Okay, so my youngest daughter and I have been working on her portfolio all day, and here is how it turned out. Now, keep in mind that this is totally unique to you and your family and your child. As long as the portfolio is showing work and progress throughout the year, then it can look more complex than this. It can look simpler than this. Uh, whatever your taste is and whatever works for your family. So the first thing that I put in her portfolio is a listing of our curriculum that we used this year and a sampling of the books that she read. She reads pretty much around the clock, so there's no way to keep track of every book she reads, but this will just give a good idea of what she's read this year. The next thing that I put in that I just like to have is a little get to know me sheet that she fills out at the beginning of the year and I put it in here with a picture. I will link where I got this from so that you can take a look. And then one for the end of the year. So you can see how she's grown, you can see how her tastes have changed and her interests. So here's where we get into her individual subjects. Now, this will look different for every family. If you do unit studies or you do more of an unschooling method, you may not have a clean division between subjects, and that's fine. You can organize it however you'd like. Uh, we just like to break ours down by subject. So she divided up, up with these cute little dividers. She decorated these herself. And what we've put inside is 
some work from the beginning of the year, some work through the middle, and then some toward the end. So your evaluator is just going to want to see a progression, like I said, of learning. We put a lot of projects in here. We take pictures of little experiments we do or recipes we make. She's very proud of her quizzes, so she has a lot of her history quizzes in here, little assignments that she's written, uh, maps that she's studied. Here's her science section. Any big projects, I normally just snap a photo so that I have a record of it and stick it in here. She was very proud of this because this was her first project where she did a bibliography. <laughs> Worksheets, just anything your child wants to put in that they feel like they're proud of and they want to show off. This is our language arts. Include lots of things that your child has written. Um, our evaluator loves to see creativity and you can really see a lot of that in language arts with poetry, stories, research papers. This is her math section. We use a virtual program for math so I'll be adding in her scores as soon as she finishes up her lessons. Here's her handwriting. She's very proud of her handwriting. I try to keep it to 10 pages or under per subject, just so, like I said, you're not showing every piece of work your child has done. But uh, I let her put in what she likes, just to make it her own. And lastly, she has art, so I'll stick any um, art projects that she's done during the year this year we did a lot of painting with watercolors. And that's it. So you can see that this is kind of a mix of a record of her education this year and also just a memory book for our family to have. We do like to add the name and grade on the spine so that when all those portfolios get lined up over the years, you can easily see whose is whose. Thanks for coming along, guys.